Hi! Today we're doing a review on four lipsticks. Two of which are high street brands and the other two are high end brands. We primarily wanted to test if paying a higher amount would mean a higher quality. So within a period of two weeks, I tested Essence and I tested MAC. I tested Max Factor and I tested NARS. The high street brand I tested was indeed the Essence. Keeping in mind that we wanted to keep within autumn colours, I chose Essence Dare to Wear. Okay, so I was really excited when I saw the Essence kiosk in White City because I tried their nail polishes and blushes before when I'd bought them on the continent. So starting with the application, I found that it was quite crayony. So initially it glides on quite stiff. However, on the lips, it does feel quite oily and with it being oily, it doesn't last long at all. However, it didn't flake, so I would say that would be one plus point. The high street brand I tested was Max Factor, Ruby Tuesday. It was okay, again, I feel like it was quite oily and halfway through the day, it clumped in the creases on my lips, which wasn't a good look, so I'd have to reapply it. And it's kind of not what you want in a lipstick. You don't want to have to be constantly checking on lipstick all the time. So as mentioned before, my high-end brand that I'd bought was MAC. With Captive from MAC, I found it firstly that it applied very smoothly. It felt very creamy to the touch. However, on the flip side, because it's a matte lipstick, it tends to dry out more often than a glossy or sheen lipstick. So what's important to remember when you do wear a matte lipstick to keep its quality is to assure a good lip routine with buffing, moisturising, blotting, so forth. I found that it stayed nearly all day. I'm not saying that it's a miracle lipstick, with effort comes results. The high-end brand I reviewed was NARS Scarlet Empress. Again, it's a satin lipstick. I absolutely love this lipstick. I've had really, really bad experiences with lipsticks in the past, so I kind of avoided them for ages. But since we were doing a lipstick review, I kind of wanted to give it a go. It's really, really good. The only time I've had to top up usually is after I've eaten something. Again, the days that I didn't buffer my lips and make sure they were kind of lipstick ready were the days where it would not last as long. But that's something that's important with a lipstick anyway. If you're gonna wear a lipstick, you've got to kind of set a good foundation for your lips. But literally, this is amazing and it lasted all day. I think I prefer mattes to glosses in general. Yeah, it was really good. Essence lipstick, this retailed at 2 dollars Max Factor retailed at $7.99. The MAC, 1550 And the NARS, 1950 To conclude, I think we both agreed that the high end was much better than the high street. I would rather pay £20 and have a lipstick that lasts all day rather than pay lower and have to keep applying it. Yeah, because on the long run you'll probably end up spending more money on the cheaper brands because it doesn't last as long. You're applying more. So thank you for watching our vlog. Bye! Bye.